When dealing with large information on iTags, this becomes a big deal. On this video, I'm going to teach you on how to create a CSV file that will help you upload your files faster. All that coming up in a moment. Hi, Matteo here with tips and tricks on how you can do your returns in under 10 minutes. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe. So I'm going to use the payroll on your screen where we have our pay and we have our pin numbers. So we are going to use this information to feed into our Excel sheet. So on the screen, ideally what happens is that you'll feed this information on the sheet, as you can see, and then you fill all these data manually. So what the CSV file does is that it reduces the amount of work that you have to do by keying individual employees on the P10. So what you're going to do is that we are going to replicate this form on a new Excel sheet and make sure that we copy the row and the columns as they are. And remember that we are going to block all the totals that are on this sheet because they already have formulas when you're creating that. So let me show you what I mean. I've already created this Excel on a new Excel sheet. And as you can see on the screen, I have areas that are blocked. And these are the totals as per the Excel sheet. So we're just going to fill these white areas with the information and data that we want to fill in. So we fill all the way up to the end. So we'll be getting this information from the payroll and feeding it into this sheet. So here is the payroll again. And so we are going to fill the blanks using the information from the payroll. And here we have our pin numbers. You can copy that and paste it on the new sheet. So do the same for the names of employees. Now we can get the information regarding the next two column from the KRA sheet. This is P10. And on that column, you choose between resident and non-resident. And on the second column, we choose between primary or secondary employee. So in our case, we have resident and primary employees. So you come and feed that information that is resident and we have the primary employee. So you just have to fill this and all the other employees. Then on the next column, then we can get this information again from the payroll. This is the basic salary and housing allowance and the travel. So you can just paste there for the next column. We don't have that leave pay. We don't have overtime. We again, don't have that. Don't have lump sums, but we have other allowances. So we can have zeros where we don't need the information. Remember, don't leave any space empty. If it's a zero, put a zero. So we go back to the payroll and you get the totals of other allowances. You can see here total 3000, 3000 and a total of 8000. So we're going to feed this information on our new sheet. We have that information down up to the 8,000. So we go to the next column and 
for my case there is nothing so we are going to fill that as zero and then you can come to the other column again that does not apply to the employees on this payroll and then this information you can get from the sheet on this one and if you look at the p10 the options that are available we have all these available for you and depending on your case you can choose based on what applies to the employees so in this case benefits are not given so you feed that information and write down there that the benefit not given and then you can just autofill this information down to the last employee then you go to the next column and this is the contribution in this case we have 200 per employee and then for the next column this does not apply to the employees and then you can go to the next column and we have the amount that is applicable this is 2400 for every employee in the next column does not apply and finally you get the net we can get this information from the payroll and you can get the pay payable and then paste it on the tax payable so we have filled our form and make sure that you confirm that every column is filled with information except for those that are blocked in gray so we don't need this column or this row and you're going to delete it and then you remove all the formatting in this sheet so that we can convert this sheet into a csv file so save as a csv comma delimited and then you can save it then you can click ok and then we can close then save and click ok and we have created a csv file so what we are going to do is that we are going to open the p10 that is from carry and make sure that you fill the information on the first page first before you go to key in the employee details so we have um the, the pin number we have all this information we have the original and then the filing is for the month of april so this is from 1st of april to the 30th of april click on next and then you can click on import csv and the information is going to be fed on the sheet so when you click you look for the csv file click on it and open the file so you can see the information is uploaded and all our employees are there we have all the columns filled for the salaries all the way to the end so you can confirm that your pay that you're fed into the system is equal to the pay calculated by the KRE system this is very important because if you have less information or less amount than that that is calculated by the KRE excel sheet then that means that you're underpaying your tax so if there is any discrepancies please address the discrepancy before you upload this sheet so in my case it agrees so we have the total pay payable being the same and we have all this other information uh, being the same confirm the pin number of the employees are correct there you have it 
and you can use this template to do your subsequent returns in future. I hope this information was helpful to you and is going to save you a lot of time when you're doing bulk returns on this P10. Thank you for always watching my videos and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified when I upload a new video. Just in case you need more information regarding this, you can always drop me an email on the email down below. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.